So I wanted to make a video in this vlog about how I travel and balance work. Whoa. Good morning vlog. So it is Sunday, December 5th. We are going snowboarding. I wanna add a disclaimer. There's a few new things in my life. One, I'm in Arizona for a month with my boyfriend's family because it's the holidays. Two, um, I injured myself pretty mildly. It's just really hard for me to walk without painkillers. I'll just show you guys. Like I'm wearing my snow pants right now, but I'll put an image here. If you guys want, you can skip this part because it's a little bit gruesome. It's not that bad, but just want to give you a warning. Skip to like another five seconds. But this is how my knees looked because I fell off my skateboard a few days ago and it really fucking hurt. I don't know if I like, it just, every time I like walk and put pressure, it just hurts. But of course we're going snowboarding today, even though this happened two days ago. All right, where are we going? Snowboarding. Where? Flagstaff. Oh God, you guys want to see me get in the car? This is how like bad it is. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the struggle. Show. First of all, it's hard for me to bend my legs, so. <laughs> I'm going to swing it in and slowly sit. <laughs> Swing my other leg in. One, two, buckle the shoe. Let's go. Quick CVS haul because my lovely boyfriend got me some medication for my knee. <laughs> All right, first, gotta get Aquaphor. <gasps> These are some mini tubes. Thank That's what you. you. Asked for. I use this to put it on my wounds. Also, I put it everywhere to help my dry skin. Next, I got big ass bandages. These, you know my, my biggest pet peeve is when the bandage is too small for your wound and you rip off part of the wound. Cause that happened to me actually yesterday. Next, I got compression. Oh, I got these compression gauzes. Pain-free wraps, gentle wraps for wounds. This helps with swelling. And then I got, oh, we got a whole thing of rubbing alcohol wipes just to sanitize the area. And thank you. Yeah, have a nice day. You too. I love a holiday drink. It puts me in a good mood. This is the honey citrus tea with half sweetness. That's your holiday drink? <laughs> what holiday? It's not my holiday drink. It's what just, holiday? <laughs> no, it's like, it's a holiday cup. So it's like, I feel like I'm festive. That building's new. Looks cool. And it's a warm drink, so it feels more festive. This, this whole complex is new. It used to be a gas station. Pooping? Okay. Like so, you're about to take a poop? Um, I just we made it to Flagstaff. <laughs> Stop. Um, we're charging the car right now, but I want to show you guys a test if I can squat, because like, currently it was painful to do so, but let's see if I can. You can squat. Yeah, it's plenty. You don't need to squat any more than that. No, you're good. Okay, I can squat! <laughs> Welcome to Snowball! The bowl of snow. We are here at Flagstaff Snowball. I'm about to suit up. You guys can. You're already ready, huh? Yeah, look at my quick OTD. I need to put my. Uh, I need to switch into my snow pants. We made it to the beginner slopes. I have my board on, and. You guys can see. Here, we're gonna be going on that. Hopefully, I don't eat shit because I will. I cannot take another day of me falling on my knees. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, there's a lot of people getting stuck. You guys can see I'm a little nervous because a lot of kids are falling. The next time you see me, this is either gonna go really great or really bad. I'm actually so curious because me and Zane snowboard um, like once or twice last year or three times, but we've been skating every day. But I also recently fell, so I don't know if I got better or got worse. Because last time, it was really hard for us to just stay on the board like the first time around. Yeah. So I wonder how we improve. I think we're going to do okay, but then it's just going to be like a exponential curve up. That's my hope. Like, it's going to be really bad until it gets really good. Yeah, I agree. Ah! Just finished snowboarding, and let's just say 
we are beat. It was a good day. It was a good day. I mm. fell on my butt so many times, and I also fell on my knees that were injured, and I told you guys I was so scared to re-injure them, but they're probably most likely bleeding again. Yeah. <laughs> and then, let's see. I That's fell on my up, wrists babe. a bunch, like, on the snow oh. just to support myself, and that hurt like a bitch. But, we ain't no bitch. Oh, we're so hungry, it is 3.30. <laughs> we haven't had lunch. So we're gonna eat lunch and dinner. And we're get gonna you. have one big ass meal. We're gonna have one big ass meal. I'm gonna be honest right now, my leg is hurting so bad. I am so scared to remove my band-aid. If you guys didn't know, yesterday I tried to remove my band-aid and my band-aid stuck to my wound and basically to rip it off would hurt a lot and I sat in the tub this morning at 6 a.m. for an hour to try to pry off my old band-aid from my, my wound. So I really hope I don't have to do that again. Here we have a stratatella. Stratatella? How do you pronounce it? I'm not Italian. Stratatella. Next, we got a big ol' arugula salad today. Hey. Okay, so we are back in the car from dinner, lunch. It was really good. Honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna. Hey, I'll see you guys next day. Um, and also, thank you guys so much for all the comments on my Bali vlogs. You know that I struggle with negative comments, and it's nice having positive comments for once. Like, we did not have one negative comment um, on my last upload, so thank you guys so much. I, I hope I don't jinx it, but I really appreciate it, so. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm back in the car from the coffee shop. Um, Zane is just finishing up his work, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a little bit. So I wanted to make a video in this vlog about how I travel and balance work. And if you guys are creators or entrepreneurs, you guys know how hard it is to not hustle your eyes out because it's so common to believe in that hustle culture. But I don't believe in hustle culture because I believe life should be about making money so you can achieve the life you want. And most often, unless you're really a workaholic and you love it, it's to enjoy life and travel and like, you know, have fun with your friends and family. So I wanna show you guys how I achieve that because obviously it's so easy to say, go travel and live your life, but like how do you make money and how do you balance with work and responsibilities? So here's my biggest hack, okay? Once a week, plan what I do for professional goals and personal goals. And I usually aim for three of each category. So here's why. I used to, when I was in the beginning of my career, like 16, 17, I mean, I was super young, but I used to grind until my eyes out. I would have no, per I would first of all have no personal goals. I'd be like, what is that? I'm just gonna grind on my, my career. And I think that's helpful. I think in the beginning you need to grind, but I'm 21 now, like I'm not 16, you know? I need to spend time with my family, my boyfriend's family. Like I. I'm allowed to indulge. And I never knew that until like a year or two years ago. That's when I started to have a personal goal category because we always have like professional to-dos or like school to-dos, but what about our personal life and our mental health? That's kind of how I started. And for those who don't know, uh, I'm 21. I have my own marketing agency where we work with Web3 brands and a lot of tech companies, but I also do my personal brand deals. And um, that can be a lot to manage. So I try my best to have these two categories to manage everything. Um, and I'm doing pretty well for myself. And like, I'm just so happy that I have comfortable income to travel and like something about me that I didn't think I was possible is I try to spend money that I make in a very thoughtful way I think a lot of entrepreneurs tend to be like I need to make a million dollars to be happy but the truth is you don't because money is there to spend okay like obviously you guys if you guys don't know I'm a huge like saver and I have investments and I do a lot of things to save money but one thing that I learned and no one taught me is like the importance to spend money, to indulge in your life and not like to mindlessly spend on designer clothes or whatever, unless that's what you want. It's to, you know, spend on things that make you happy because that was what actually energizes you to do more professional and good things. Like this trip, Flagstaff, is super fun. I'm spending, I would say like around $300, $500 to like do this thing, but it is so healing for me. I'm getting to snowboard. I mean, I'm in pain right now because I'm injured, but like I'm having so much fun. And like, I know when I go back to work today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be like really really energized so anyways now that you guys know I set one weekly goal about like my professional and personal goals I'll show you guys 
an example of how that leads to today. So on my little iPad, you guys can't see, but I try my best every day to brainstorm what can I do today, three things that makes me happy professionally, and what can I do three things that makes me happy personally. And having, again, that weekly goal, I kind of look at it as a reference and I kind of like ask myself, what should I do today to achieve that weekly goal, if that makes sense? So for today, you know, I told myself I want to eat good food personally, I want to snowboard a little bit if I can move, and I want to um, clean up my room and do my skincare and take a shower. I know that sounds so basic, but like, that is what helps me. Like, if I don't do those things, I'm not gonna feel good. So my professional goal today is I had to post a video on YouTube and post on my Instagram, and I wrote down I wanted to film for you guys. And that's all I put today. Like, I'm not gonna push myself to like respond to a bunch of emails on a Monday, because like, I'm still traveling, you know? So anyways, I hope this is helpful. If you guys are a creator or entrepreneur, or even just a student, like trying to balance your side hustles, like, make time for your personal goals. And if it's too hard to do it weekly, do it monthly. Like you don't, you don't need to push yourself also. And just like learn to know yourself, you know? Like if you know, hey, December is a holiday month. I'm gonna focus on my family, my personal life. I'm not gonna grind my eyes out, do so. Like this month, I'm not doing a bunch of client outreach. I'm just focusing on writing an ebook for my company and like getting new leads for next year, but not like pushing myself, you know? So yeah. I'm gonna head to the slopes in about 30 minutes, but I'm gonna quickly get ready and show you guys what I do to prepare. First things first, pain reliever. All right, next thing, I'm gonna do my hair. I think I wanna do two braids to keep them not tangled. All right, braids are done. I'm gonna put on my hat and then my outfit. Um, it's a lot colder today. Like, I'm a little nervous. Basically, it's like 30 degrees on the slopes plus 20 mile per hour winds, which is like, I think it's gonna feel like 20 degrees out there. So I do not have the right stuff. Like I only have my ski pants and like one puffer. So maybe, actually maybe I can ask my boyfriend to use his jacket cause it is a lot warmer. So maybe I'll do that. But yeah, it is a cold motherfucking bitch out there. All right, so we're on the ski lift now and we are about to go snowboarding. There's a lot less people today, so. Yeah, it's also not as cold as I thought, but I am bundled up, as you can tell. For me, the hardest part sometimes is just getting off the ski lift, like, oh, I have to scoot towards the edge so I can just, like, get off properly, but yeah, it's kind of sketchy. I'll show you guys what I mean. It's, like, a little tricky. So, basically, there's, like, this giant, like, not giant, but there's this hill you have to go down, and I always sometimes eat shit doing it. I grab the edge. I grab here. Make it done because you know why? I'm not a bitch. We should have the I'm not a bitch counter on this vlog because this is the only thing getting me by. Hi guys, so I'm back home and I just want to end this vlog. Um, I had a fun time snowboarding today and yesterday. Ugh. I We'll be honest, I am in lots of pain. I don't think the word to describe my feeling is sore. Like I, like literally laughing hurts my entire stomach. Like I can't laugh, I can't walk. Um, when I have to like get up from a chair, I have to move like really slow. But I just wanna say I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this vlog. And I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you like these travel videos plus a little bit of 
tips on how I run my business. Um, and let me know if you guys have any other questions you want me to answer in my next video. Bye.